the new channel. The new channel. Hashtag TNC now. The views, opinions, and insights expressed in the following shows are those of the host, producers, guests, and viewers. They do not necessarily reflect the position of the channel. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello and welcome to the new channel. Our passion transforms a community that sees all things new. My name is Carla Davila and I'm streaming from Tagaytay City. I'm Kathy Solis Davila and I'm streaming live from Alabang. Good morning and welcome to Breakfast with the King on TNC. for joining us today as you've seen the topic is all about dealing with disappointment to experience god's appointment sino ba sa atin na ang hindi nakaka-experience ng disappointment ayan hindi ta hindi kayo taga earth <laughs> hindi kayo <laughs> taga dito kung hindi kayo nakaka-experience ng disappointment pero before that we have our carla what's that Oh, you're on mute, Carlo. I'm disappointed that you're on mute. I can't hear you. We we can't hear you. <laughs> yeah, it's a little, I have to take out take out the earphones because it's a glow batch. Eh. So I'm um, 26 days to go. It's actually 29 yes. days. Uh, 29. To Hello. Go. Hello. 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 29, 29 days to days. go. Have you bought my Christmas gift already, Carlo? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Halatang hindi. So anyway, guys. Um, so napaka um ano ba? Everyone goes through this disappointment. So Carlo, ano ba yung disappointment? What does that mean? May friend tayo who tried to um uh, define that in the past, di ba? Kasi he's a neuroscience expert. And what did he say about this, Carlo? Well, I remember him saying na ang disappointment, uh, well, based on neuroscience, no? It's uh, when your reality does not match the blueprint in your head. Okay. Yeah. Of, uh -oh, yung kumbaga, what is ideal for you? Yung blueprint na gusto yeah. mong mangyari, hindi siya equal 
with what yeah. is happening. So with that, Carlo, syempre, we all want, you know, good things in our lives, good things to happen. Sa pag-commute natin, gusto natin, syempre, mabilis lang makabook ng grab, mabilis mm-hmm. lang sa pila, mabilis lang yung promotion, mabilis lang yung pasok ng pera sa atin, or mabilis lang natin mabili yung whatever we want, uh, especially now, Christmas shopping season. But you re- since ang dami nating um, aspirations in our heads, then we are victims of disappointment. Because it's Correct. not always the reality. It, it doesn't always happen sa reality natin. So, yes. totoo, papano ba natin ma-handle itong disappointment? So, Carlo, mamaya, we'll be introducing our guests who will um, share with us their devotion on, um, their soap devotion on this particular topic. But before that, Carlo, let us call in via... This special number are um, on our uh, segment, Serenading the King, our friend, uh, Pastor Arnie Manzano, uh, to sing Ililigtas Kanya. Kay daming tanong Walang sagot Nasasaktan Di alam ang dahilan May nakabibinging bulong Natatakot Di maintindihan Nang sugat ang puso't isipan Manalig ng Hindi Maligaw sa dilim May sasagot sa dalangin Huwag kang matakot Huwag mabahala Kung bumuhos ang ulan Ano mang pagsubok may dahilan Minsan walang kasagutan Sa gitna ng unos pangako niya'y di kaiwanan Ilang ulit na kanyang napatunayan Ililigtas kanya Ililigtas ka niya Minsan nawawalan Nang loob sa suko na Tila nakalimutan Na hindi siya nang iiwan Sa ingay ng mundo Pangako niya'y di nagbago Tanggapin mo ng buo Sa iyong puso Huwag kang matakot Huwag mabahala Kung bumuhos ang ulan Ano mang pagsubok may dahilan Minsan walang kasagutan Sa gitna ng unos, pangako niya'y di kaiwanan. Ilang ulit ng kaniyang napatunayan. Ililigtas ka niya. Ililigtas ka niya. Ipaglaan 
kalaban ka sa kitlaran di ba? Ilang ulit na kaniyang napatunayan kahit kailahit kailan ililitas kanya. Ililigtas ka niya Ililigtas ka niya Amen. Thank you, Pastor Arnie um, and your friend all the way from Singapore. Um, salamat for sending that video over to us here on Breakfast with the King. The main purpose of this show really is to promote um, Bible reading because we know that we are exposed to so much temptations, to so much, you know, evil stuff in this world because we live in an imperfect world. Um, even if we have a perfect God, we're exposed to all of these. And we know that um, spiritual food um, will help us, um, will guide us through life so that we can combat problems, challenges, and um, also it gives us the strength to go through each day. Um, we have we have already a Breakfast with the King community. Carlo, can you tell us more about that? Oh, yeah. Everybody is welcome to join. Uh, um, it's such a blessing. Uh, alam mo, itong show na to, it started uh, as a devotion ng wife ko. Before, when we were not yet married, no? Uh, every day, she does her daily devotion and she would call it Breakfast with the King. Tasa nung pandemic, uh, you know, it, uh, uh, leading the Lord, no? it uh, spun up in a spun off into a show. So there you have it. And now we're part of the TNC family. So we're covering even a bigger uh, audience and uh, such such a blessing. And and uh, right now, uh, yung uh, Breakfast with the King show, it's spun off into a Breakfast with the King community. Yung community, yes. ito, uh, well, a main ano niya, no, platform niya, it's a chat group no, in uh, Messenger where in uh syempre uh, uh magkakaroon din tayo ng face to face uh, commune no pero mainly on a daily basis you get you, we share no our daily devotion our soap uh doon sa chat group na yon to our fellow members and we are learning nice. from one another kung baga yes. ano um we are we are sharing our devotions with one another and it's also a way um ano ba for accountability na parang uy wala pa akong na send na so yeah. parang naka, hindi, hindi pa ako naka read ng bible ko today so parang it's a good um if there are we're surrounded by bad influence friends we're here we want to be your good influence friends and <laughs> be part yeah. of that ano be part oh, of this it uh, as a, community. It serves as a support group as well, no? Yes. Uh, other than the accountability, support so, group talaga siya So what is SOAP all about? Sabi ni Carlo, um, Breakfast with the King community, ang pinaka um, way of um, ano natin, reading the Bible, hindi tayo dapat ma-intimidate, and meron tayong simple way of reading the Bible. Of course, we want, we're encouraged to go deeper into the Word, but you know, as a, as a start, um, ito yung ano, maganda nating uh, puntahan as a way to, of course, there are other methods, but this is what we suggest. So the soap hmm. method, Carlo, can you tell us more about it very briefly? Actually, this is the method that we use. And uh, nagulat nga ako na it is a popular method pala. A lot of churches hmm. use this, no? Uh, yung SOAP stands for Scripture, Observation, Application, and Prayer. I'll just uh, go through this uh, very fast para we can get to our subject proper. No? Ang, uh, first, no, you, you choose your scripture. Um, pwede nga chronologically, may sinusundan ka, you're reading the Bible, no? as in you choose a scripture. Mm -hmm. um, ako personally, uh, I would uh, parang uh, meditate on the Lord and feel what topic uh, is he impressing on me on that topic day? Ka. Mm -hmm. uh, per ta on okay. topic ka. On topic let's say, whatever it is, depression, encouragement, Just strength. Let's search ka. Tasi let's yan, see. Let's search uh -oh. sa Google. Okay. Tasi makikita ko ngayon yung scripture, no? Specific verse. Uh, uh -oh. 
pagka pili ko ng scripture and then I do my observation. Ang observation simply means that uh, you try to interpret the scripture, no? With and, the uh, Holy Spirit's help. Not course. by your own um, of course. And, uh, strengths. Uh, yeah. Um, tama yan, Kathy. Kasi syempre, no, interpreting scripture, you know, it can be academic, pero uh, mostly it is spiritual. Kaya you really have to lift it up to the Lord. And then after, no, you do your application. Kasi you would only feel um, the greatness of God's promises when you apply what you've learned in the Bible into your life. So very, very important to apply natin yan. And then, syempre, you end it with the prayer. Yes. So obedience to the Lord unlocks His blessings. Not that, not that we're working for His blessings, but because we want to please a good God, our great, great Father, our good, good Father, right? So ano ba yung, how can we please someone na, ano ba yung gusto niya? Yun ang alamin natin, di ba? And that's how we can learn more about His heart and His character, and that's by reading the Bible. All right, so Carla, without further ado, can we please introduce our guests, special guests for today? Okay. Kathy, ang topic natin for today is very uh, interesting. Ano? Uh, ang title natin, it is uh, Dealing with Disappointments to Experience God's Appointment. So I believe lahat naman tayo no uh, from the audience no? lahat tayo we had we have our share of disappointments no um pero alam mo it possible na hindi to set back eh, pero it's a set up by the Lord so yan ang main topic natin very very interesting topic no and uh eto mga bible study mates natin and they are a godly couple no uh, in fact no the husband is a pastor uh, and uh, they will share their devotion on this topic. Uh, let me introduce them. No? First, si Kathleen Asi. She is 30 years old and a, an agriculturist and teacher at the same time. She works as a missionary. She worked as a missionary in Thailand for four years and now serves the Lord in Lobo, Batangas by teaching preschool kids and Sunday school children. Wow. And then si Pastor Joriel Asi, he's 36 years old. He is an engineer by profession. However, God had another plan for him. And that is to become a pastor. Now he is a pastor in Sunshine Baptist Church in Lobo, Batangas. And also a teacher at a Christian school uh, at the same time. So, Ladies and gentlemen, uh, without further ado... Mr. and Mrs. Assi. Hello. Hello, Pastor Jory. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. 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 So, this uh, morning. Good. Yeah. Sa biyaya ng Panginoon, mabuting mabuti naman po. Yan. Jackie sa Lobo, Batangas. Yes. Yes po. Uh, kwento nyo sa amin kung ano yung itsura dyan sa Lobo, Batangas. Maraming beaches ba dyan? Masaya. Yes. Ano? Yeah. Oo, mas masaya dito na minsan makabakasyon kayo. No? Maka-refresh. Yeah. Maraming mga testimonies yung mga workers na pumupunta dito. Nare-refresh sila. Blessing ng Panginoon. Kasi we have okay. beaches and we have mountains here. So, yes. mamimili ka. Anong gusto mong puntahan? <laughs> wow. Pastor Julian and Ma'am Kathy. No? I'll call you Kathy na lang. No? Uh, you were, um, you were, kumbaga, sent by the Lord, no? to Lobo, Batangas, to continue your ministry. So how long have you been uh, serving there in Lobo? Um, uh, actually, uh, grassroots kami ng, ng ministry dito sa Lobo. Eh. Eh, nag, mm. nag, uh, kumbaga, naka, naka-graduate lang kami, tapos nag-work. Pero eventually, tinawag ng Panginoon talaga na mag full-time, uh, as a full-time worker dito. Ako for eight years as a full-time, ano, full-time pastor. Yeah, ako naman, ano, um, teaching kids for like almost nine years. Pero yung four years sa Thailand. Pero taga dito talaga kami sa Lubo. So, growing up, we really um, experience everything <laughs> dito talaga sa Lubo. Mm-hmm. Both of you, Lubo talaga. Yes. <laughs> ah, wow. Okay. Kami taga sure dito tayo. Nung um, meron kaming parang daily vacation Bible school, I 
Oh, yeah. no, no. <laughs> Teacher ko pala siya during that time. <laughs> <laughs> Elementary naman ako noon. <laughs> may yes. po, may pagbubunyag ng ano, ng uh, <laughs> Okay, so um teacher pala ni Kath si Joriel before. Ang uh, galing no. Kami ni Carlo Barkada. Oh, so, kami barkada rin sa church ni yeah. Carlo before. Ganun din. Wow. Very very interesting. So, well ano, siguro sa February we'll talk about your love story, no? Maybe <laughs> kayo ulit sa love angle na yan. But sige, right now, can you share with us your um soap Meaning, we start with with S in relation to our topic, Pastor and Kathy. I'll I'll read siguro muna Kathy the scripture, and then uh, si Pastor Joriel and Kathy, uh, as he can proceed doon sa ob, uh, observation and then later application. Uh, sige, Derek, can you please flash? Shaksana lang yung eyes ko, ah. Pagbalik kasi magpanggap, suotin ang glasses. Shaks, ito na nga. Oh my gosh. Kathy, can you read it? Okay, I will read it for you. Hang on. Ako rin lalapit eh. <laughs> so the scripture is from from Job 1.8, 13 to 22, 42, um, chapter 42, 12 to 13. Then the Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job, that there is none like him on the earth, a blameless and upright man, one who fears God and shuns evil? Now, there was a day when his sons and daughters were eating and drinking wine in their oldest brother's house. And the messenger came to Job and said, The oxen were plowing and the donkeys and the oldest brother's house and the messenger, uh, sorry, umulet plowing and the donkeys feeding beside them when the Sabians raided them and took them away. Indeed, they have killed the servants with the, the edge of the sword, and I alone have escaped to tell you. While he was still speaking, another also came and said, The fire of God fell from heaven and burned up the sheep and the servants and consumed them, and I alone have escaped to tell you. While he was still speaking, another also came and said, the, Ka the Chaldeans formed three bands, raided the camels and took them away, and yes, and killed the servants with the edge of the sword, and I alone have escaped to tell you. While he was still speaking, another also came and said, Your sons and daughters were eating and drinking wine in their oldest brother's house, and suddenly a great wind came from across the wilderness and struck the four corners of the house and it fell on the young people and they are dead and I alone have escaped to tell you. Okay. Next. Next um, page. Or is that it? Then Job arose, tore his robe and shaved his head and he fell to the ground and worshipped and he said, Naked I came from my mother's womb and naked shall I return there. The Lord gave and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In all this, Job did not sin nor charge God with wrong. Now the Lord blessed the latter days of Job more than his beginning for he had 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, 1,000 yoke of oxen and 1,000 female donkeys. He also had seven sons and three daughters. Next Amen. page, please. Oh, okay, word, oh, that's it. Word. Uh, question, no? uh, Pastor Joriel and uh, Kathleen. I'll call you Kathleen na lang para yes. uh, <laughs> Kathy, my wife. No? Um, Kathleen, how do you, uh, no, uh, what can you say about this scripture? Yeah, actually, very um yung life ni Job punong-puno talaga ng ano eh, um disappointments and and we have seen naman din sa um, uh, scripture na binasa kanina yung mga tragedies na naranasan ni Job so yeah so, okay po, po, po. ano ba yung scenario ano ba yung scenario dito kwento mo sa amin um pastor Joriel and miss mm -hmm. Kat Kanina, uh, kanina habang kinakanta yung ating uh, praise song, ano, isa dun sa nakuha ko dun sa kanta, minsan walang kasagutan sa gitna ng unos. Ang ganda, no? Um, tapos yung title niya, Ililitas ka niya. This is exactly what the book of Job uh, really about. Kasi malaking question kay, kay Job yung suffering niya. Eh. Dahil 
Ang ganda naman ng buhay niya, napaka-blessed ng buhay niya kasi faithful siya. Tapos ang tindi lang nung nung suffering, ang tindi lang ng tra- yung tragedy na dumating sa buhay niya. In fact, no, uh, from chapter 1 uh, hanggang chapter 2, dun yung pinaka parang downside ng buhay niya. Ang ganda na simula tapos biglang matinding biglang bagsak. From chapter 3 hanggang chapter almost hanggang 39, no? 38 ay parang pagtatanong bakit may mga disappointments sa buhay na kailangan mangyari doon sa mga tao just like just like job just like us no na anak ng Panginoon pero marami din disappointments so that's uh, what this book of job all about that's right i have a question no so si job talagang tinamaan ng uh, alam natin yan ano yung uh, kumbaga story ni job that's very iconic sa bible eh uh, so t- siya ng grabbing number of disappointments. I mean, all the disappointments that you can practically think of, no, tumama kay Job, no, it's... Sa health, amazing. sa finances, <laughs> sa <laughs> lahat, lahat. It's amazing that he got through, alive, through it alive, ano? Uh, pero question, no, um, nung tinamaan siya ng mga to, nagkasala pa si Job? Sabi sa, sa, sa book of Job itself, no, hindi siya nagkasala in a sense na kinerse niya ang Panginoon ba? Gaya na sinasabi ni, ni Satan. Kasi yun yung, yung deception ni Satan. Sabi niya, sabi ni, ni Satan kay, kay Lord, tanggalin mo yung mga blessing for sure, ikakerse niya. Mm-hmm. Pero even until the end, no, may mga questions lang siya kasi normal siya siyang tao. Eh. Pero uh, hanggang matapos ang lahat, meron siyang repentance sa mga question niya pero never niyang kinerse ang Panginoon. So in that sense, hindi siya nagkasala. Pero yung sense na medyo... Okay. Ma- yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry. You were saying, you were saying... Um... I'm saying, yeah. Pero yung sense na ma-amplify yung kanyang sarili na may, medyo napareklamo din siya sa hindi <laughs> ng kanyang sa pinagdaan. Oh. So uh, with that, um, ni, ni-rebuke siya ng Panginoon doon. Tinama ng Panginoon ang kanyang puso. Mm-hmm. So although Job, no, along the way, ay hindi nagkasala ang cursing God, pero ni-level up ng Panginoon yung relationship niya sa Kanya by, alam mo yun, by refining Job. So, yeah. Right. Okay. So, let's move further. Ano yung observation ninyo dito? You, you already said ano, a, a bit of your observation. Um, sige, let's flash um, what you wrote earlier. So, yeah. Yeah, pass- diba, go ahead. Sabi sa inyo, Pastor, kita mo maliit din. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Sige. Or if full screen natin, uh, direct. It's okay. Ah, yeah. Okay lang. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay lang naman. So, okay in our observation sa passage na ito, first in verse 8, mm-hmm. the Lord says, there is none like Job. He is blameless, upright, fears God, and shuns evil. So, God himself no commended Job's faithfulness. You can notice in this verse that it is the Lord himself. No, siya yung si G, si si Lord talaga si Yahweh talaga yung nag-affirm na na uh, faithfulness no katapatan ni Job. No, it is not uh, a context clue or an implication but a direct commendation ng ng Lord, no. So talagang makikita natin dito napaka-righteous and faithful nito si Job, no. But eventually, no, in verses 13 hanggang 18 I, I know, no, there were four tragedies that happened to Job. In just one day. In just one day. Imagine, no? So verse 15, uh, we we'll see there, the Sabians raided his oxen and donkeys, including his servants. Naubos yung lahat na oxen and donkeys, including yung uh, mga tagapag-alaga ni Job. Isa lang yun na natira para lang magbalita kay Job ng unexpected na pangyayari. And then sa so, sunod, the verse, uh, The fire of God burned his sheep and again, including his servants. And then again, sa sunod na verse ulit, the Chaldeans raided naman the camels and his looter, uh, his loo, Job's servants. So, grabe diba? Lahat na lang ng livestock and manpower ni Job. Ganun na lang na mm-hmm. ubos na. Wala na. Oh, oh. But by the way, during Job's time, ang sukatan ng assets ay kung 
gaano kadami yung alaga na hayop, mga servants. And so, ubus talaga yung yaman ni Job dito in just one day. And um, notice that it was mentioned three times in the, um, the phrase, while the servant was still speaking. So, here comes the other na um, who told the bad news one after another. Garado. And, and hindi lang natapos doon, no? Hindi lang, hindi lang yung properties ni Job yung na-loss sa uh, buhay niya dito sa part ng passage natin mm-hmm. dito. But in verse 9, yung 19. verse 19, yun yung talagang parang sobrang sakit na, no? Mm-hmm. Kasi uh, in verse 19, the corners of the house fell on his children and they died. Mm-hmm. Alam niyo, binabasa ko talaga ito ako mismo na nandiyan nakakaya ka pa. So alam mo yung <clears throat> kapag faithful ka sa Lord and yung desire mo naman talaga is to walk right with Him sa lahat ng areas ng buhay mo. Of course, you're expecting victories in life, di ba? Mm-hmm. Na naman may gusto yeah. ng, ng panit na mag- mangyari. Uh, lalo na nga na gusto natin, alam niyo yun, mas mag-grow sa Panginoon. You're expecting productivity sa work, sa studies mo, even sa business mo. Mm-hmm. No? Expecting ka na maging maayos yung mga relationships mo towards others. Happy ka pa nga when the Lord is blessing others kasi you are praying for the welfare, no? Yeah. Nung, nung uh, kapwa mo for, for everyone. So, parang when you do right thing naman, at lalo na sinusunod mo naman ng Panginoon, di ba? We are not expecting bad things to happen. In fact, um, we are expecting blessings and favor, right? So, pero what happened here in our passage nakakagulat no while Job is living in a right uh, living right with God eh bigla na lang ganun yung nangyari mm-hmm. very disappointing no? kahit ako na nagbabasa ng disappointed and disappointed mm-hmm. how much more can you call this nasa position na Job no? so Job lost his properties in his children mm-hmm. and so in verse 20 we'll see Job's response uh, sabi niya uh, sabi dito Job arose, tore his robe, and shaved his head. So, he expressed great mourning. And in Old Testament, yung paghapak, yung pagpunit mo ng kasuotan, yung pag-tear mo ng uh, robe at pag-shave mo ng yung uh, buhok, pagpapakalbo, is ano, used to be an expression of grief. So, talagang nag-mourn siya. So in our passage, Job was became um Job became aware of the disappointing situation na nangyayari and he was able to accept it and mourn ng matindi. Mm-hmm. Not to the point naman na magwala ano, na mag I don't know, pero mm-hmm. grabe yung yung kanyang pagluluksa. Pero in dealing disappointment, um we have learned parang we can see na dapat may sense of acceptance. Mm-hmm. Yung humility na things could happen not in a way or in accordance with what we desire. Mm-hmm. And it's okay na ma-express yung grief in appropriate way. So, and yeah. yet, mm-hmm. in verse 20, Grabe yung morning, Job. Yeah. Pero, despite of that, so fell to the ground and worshiped God. Yeah. And, um, Job did recognize yung supremacy ni Lord kahit na nakaka-disappoint yung nangyari. And sabi pa niya sa verse 21, Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked shall I return to the Lord. And I, I returned there, and the Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was still able to praise the Lord amidst all of this. Birmo, nawala yung ano niya, kayamanan niya, pati yung children niya na matay. Parang yung, oh, yung bahay mo na, di ba? Parang mukhang nag, um, it fell on his, his children and they died. Parang, mm-hmm. and you said all in one day. Disappointment lang, kundi devastation eh. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But why do you think uh, Pastor Joriel and Kathy why did he have that kind of reaction amidst all of that? Kasi sometimes we catch ourselves guilty tayo na, um, you know, hindi lang tayo mapansin, for example, ng isang former friend, nagtatampo na tayo, or hindi tayo makasakay agad ng nakamakabok ng whatever, grab, tapos, or makasakay ng jeep. 
um, sobrang nag- nagagalit na tayo, nag-disappoint na tayo. Why do you think si Job has that kind of attitude? I think, no, kasi si, si Job, no, from the start of this chapter uh, one, um, blessed na blessed si Job. Eh. So I strongly believe na mature si Job mm. when it comes to his relationship with God. Kailangan na talaga, no? Even nga yung parang kung titingnan mo, sobrang blessed na siya sa lahat ng mga bagay, no? Sa areas ng kanyang buhay. Yet, ganun na lang yung kanyang uh, discipline when it comes to honoring the Lord, no? Even after their celebration, ng, uh, every time na meron silang celebration ng mga anak niya, lagi niyang sinasama yung mga anak niya na mag-consecrate ng kanilang mga sarili sa Panginoon. And kapag ka, uh, ano yun, may, may times na talagang uh, gumigising siya ng maaga, uh, just to offer uh, mm-hmm. yung sacrifice for uh, cleansing, for atonement. Na, kasi uh, just in case lang, no? meron siyang, just in case yung anak ko ay hindi nakakaplease sa Panginoon. Uh, ay kinihil ng tawad. Oo, oh, oh, i-assure ko na ang Lord na pi-please ang mm-hmm. boy. So the reason why I think na meron siyang ganung Uh, uh, ano ba yun? Yung response. Una, response yung, yung uh-huh. kanyang immediate response. Because somehow, kilala niya ang Panginoon. Mature siya enough. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, alam niya ang Panginoon is uh, makapangyarihan. And mm-hmm. Alam niya na ang Lord is sovereign. So something like that. I do believe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he is able to please the Lord. That's why um, yung ano eh, yung ginawa din ng Lord sa kanya, no, na binless pa siya more than Um, he was blessed before because the yeah, Lord saw before. his reaction. Na akala natin, um, parang when we are older, we're weaker, we have less finances because we stop earning or because our bodies became, become more frail. Um, you know, mas mabagal na tayo, mas magagaling na yung next generation sa trabaho. Pero hindi eh. The Lord is capable of blessing us more in in our future. Na yung blessings na niya sa atin, binubuhos pa niya dun sa latter part of our lives more than the past ng when we were stronger. Um, yun yung ano, yung binigay niya kay Job kasi tuwang-tuwa si Lord sa reaction niya. Um, Carlo, anong insight more yeah. uh, what, uh, 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 question ako kay Pastor Jarel pati kay uh, sis Kathleen no uh, di ba yung topic natin is dealing with disappointment to experience God's appointment uh, would you say Job did uh, what our you know is said in our topic he did it effectively would you say mm-hmm. Yes, in a sense. Yeah. Kasi um, gaya nga nung na-observe natin kanina, no? grabe talaga yung yung ano, yung yung nangyari sa kanya mm-hmm. na disappointment. Kasi for sure, hindi naman yun in-expect ni Job. Eh. Mm-hmm. Sabi nga natin, yung disappointment is uh, ano mo yun, yung hindi yung unmet na expectations mm-hmm. natin. Yet, no, uh, Job acknowledged pa rin yung yung Uh, sino ba talaga ako? Mm-hmm. Ganun yung nangyari dun sa buhay ni Job. Eh. Although, before kasi yung blessing, nung, nung, kumbaga before yung, yung appointment talaga, yung ma-realize yung appointment ng Panginoon uh, uh, beyond or uh, despite no, ng mga disappointments, disappointments sa buhay ni Job. Ang dami nang dinaani ni Job. Eh. Imagine, nag-jump tayo sa chapter 42. So in between, ang dami ng struggles ni Job. Mm-hmm. So talagang, Uh, matindi ito na disappointment and kailangan ni Job talaga na maging patient. Kagandahan nun, he acknowledged na nuna sa lahat, sino ba talaga ako? Sino ang Diyos? So napakaganda ng part na yun eh. When, when things happen in a way that uh, we are not expecting, no? yung mangyari mga bagay, ay uh, maging humble enough tayo to trust God. That's right. That He is in I- control. I agree with Pastor with Pastor Joriel and and Sis Kath. Kath, um, parang sinasabi mo, sinasabi nila Carlo, yung dalawa eh. Number one, kilalang kilala ni Job sino si God. Yes. Napaka ano lalim ng relationship niya with God, kaya ganon yung reaction niya. Um, and number two, kilalang kilala niya yung sarili niya na he is just a mere mortal. And sabi niya, dumating naman ako sa mundong ito na walang wala ako. Uh, 
diba? naked I came into this earth and naked I will return. So, yun, it's it's um acknowledgement of who God is and acknowledgement of who you are really mm-hmm. in this world. Yun. Okay, so now um I need to freeze yeah, that's it. Um, I, do, I, do, I just want to mention something, no. Okay. Um you know, eto story ni Job, no. I think uh, a lot of us can relate, no. Um uh, Disappointments come in our lives. I mean, depending on the magnitude, no, pwedeng uh, hindi masyado malaki. Well, in the case of Job, grabe, no? All of this devastation came, no? In all fronts of his life, no? In one day. Uh, parang sinabi, mm-hmm. life like, niya, yung mga servants niya, sunod naman, mga anak niya, patay, sunod-sunod, no? And, uh, um, uh, you know, grabe yung nangyari kay Job. And, Uh, pero we cannot rule out na um, walang grabe rin. I mean, probably not to that extent, no? pero I really don't know. Um, you know, possible din na may grabe mangyari sa mga buhay natin. And, uh, you know, um, one thing no, that struck me, uh, yung nagsasalita si Pastor Juriel, nagsishare siya kanina ng observation kasama si Sis Kathleen, no? na mention niya yung word na accept. Accept. Mabigat yun na, Kasi mm. si Job was a good person. Sinasabi nga ni Pastor Juriel. And then, biglang nangyari itong mga calamities na to. And uh, when you're a good person, you're serving the Lord. Hindi lang good person, ha? a person of faith. Uh, you're thinking, uh, the Lord will protect me. You know, the, the, yes. I'm secure in the Lord. I know things yes. will just be okay. Probably I won't be super rich or super comfortable in life, pero I will be okay. Diba? Mm. It will shield me from harm. Pero, ang nangyari, harm came eh. Yeah. And, uh, you know, ang pinaka mahirap do pag dumating ito sa mga buhay natin is we start to question why. Yes. That's it. Okay. Why? Uh, why, Lord? I'm a mm. good person. I mean, I don't deserve this. Bakit ganun? Yeah. Meron mga masasabang tao dyan. They're living life in mm-hmm. confidence. ako tinamaan ng ganitong sakit, ganito. I've been faithful to you. Yan ang question ng why. And I, when I was, as I was listening to this observation, it also struck me. The Lord called us to obey. And then, when you obey and you trust no, the Lord, you don't ask why. Mm-hmm. You stop. Yeah. So, on that topic na um, why do bad things happen to good and faithful people, sasabugutin natin mamaya yan based on the Bible devotion of our guests for today, Pastor Joriel and Kathy, after this commercial break. We'll be back.
Greenfield District. The future ready district. Home to Greenfield Tower with its state-of-the-art fiber optic internet backbone. Connectivity is built right into residences like Twin Oaks Place. 15 flourishing hectares right at the heart of Metro Manila so that at work and at play, we can plant a future where dreams grow. Greenfield District, the future ready district. watching breakfast with the king with kathy and carlo the new channel is an online alternative new media platform of online shows for people on the go please watch all of our shows as seen on your screens imagine having your own show your own playlist your own content but we make it easy for you tnc aims to transform the lives of our viewers through engaging authentic and original content our channel is a responsible global 24-7 platform that showcases Filipino talent, global influencers, cultural intelligence, and ingenuity. Um, watch Breakfast with the King every Saturday morning from 9 to 10 a.m. You can watch live or replay via Facebook or YouTube. Follow us also on Instagram. Listen to us on Spotify and Apple Podcast. Just search for hashtag TNC now. For sponsorships, please email now at thenewchannel.com or send us a DM. Enjoy these life-changing shows because we made them just for you. And we are back on our discussion, dealing with disappointment to experience God's appointment. Carlo, mainit yung topic natin. Na. Nandun na tayo sa application ng ating guest na sina Pastor Joriel and Kathy, which we... We will invite them back here on screen. So why do bad things happen to good and faithful people, Pastor and Kath? Tawagin natin sila ulit dito sa screen natin. Kung ready na sila ulit. Ayan. Okay. So, yeah, si Job yung pinag-uusapan natin kanina. So sabi ni Carlo, parang ine-expect mo kung good ka, faithful ka kay Lord. Parang you're sa- you're ano, shielded from all of these bad things. But what happened to Job was he lost everything. Although, yun, ano ba, ano sa tingin ninyo, Pastor and uh, Sis Kath? Well, siguro. Um, gusto ko lang din i-highlight si Sir Kathy yung, yung ang kagadaan kasi nung kapag nagiging humble tayo to accept yung mga disappointments natin sa buhay. At at the same time, natiwala tayo sa Lord. Yung mga disappointments natin, kayang gawin ng Panginoon na appointment with us, no dealing with us, para mas mag-grow tayo. At uh, later on, i-grant ng Panginoon yung growth, yung blessing. Actually, gusto ko rin i-highlight dun sa last chapter ng book, dun sa chapter 42. Verses 12, that God blessed uh, Job, no? double of everything that was lost. Imagine, blessing talaga ito. Kasi yung 7,000 sheep niya naging 14,000. Yung 3,000 camels, pinalitan ng Lord ng 6,000. Yung 1,000 oxen became 2,000. Yung 500 donkeys become 1,000. At yung mga anak ni Job na 10, 10 dinagdagan pa ni Lord na another 10. Diba? 
So, minsan, yung mga nararanasan nating failures and and disappointments later on, yun, yun, yun pa yung nagiging blessing ng Panginoon sa atin. Kapag hindi tayo nag-give up, na mag-trust sa Kanya. Yes. Yeah. And, um, so, I think sa application, in, yeah, in handling disappointments, um, ako personally, yung I want na i-apply in this um, passage, I should recognize the pain and accept the situation and entrust it sa Lord. So unless na matutunan ko na maging honest mm-hmm. sa aking nararamdaman and to accept it humbly, I cannot fully entrust it sa Panginoon. Yes. And I think the first step towards handling this appointment is to experience, um, and, and I think that is the first step mm-hmm. towards handling disappointments. Para maranasan mo yung, oh, oh, para maranasan mo yung appointment, yung blessing ng Panginoon. Yes. Sa, sa akin naman, mm-hmm. Go ahead, bro. bro. Sige, Pastor. Sa akin naman, uh, yung disappointment kasi, inevitable yan. Ano? It could happen in my work, my family, or in the ministry, you know, to deal with it, you know, I, I would rather look at the bigger picture you know, of the situation to see that God has greater purpose and plan mm-hmm. you know, yeah. for, for my life, for me. So it is always important to see that uh, my identity as a child of God. So that is actually gives me the security na uh, may disappointment man, may pangit man na nangyayari. Still, as a whole, ako'y protected mo. No? secured so mm-hmm. that's that's that gives me hope as well and that would help me to cope up with disappointment mm-hmm. and became ready for what that is preparing me mm-hmm. so yeah and, that's right uh, yeah go ahead sis go ahead and i think um you know, learning to fully trust the lord in times of disappointments and troubles will help me mm-hmm. be more hopeful and focus on what god is doing and with that, it will help me appreciate more His plans and purpose, mm-hmm. His appointments, His blessing. So it's like you'll appreciate more the sunshine mm-hmm. after the rain. Yes. That's right. So, kung baga sinasabi ninyo, um, nawala si Carlo, Pastor Joriel and Sis Kathy, um, yung, yung uh, protected, uh, okay, our, our identity is really not based on what is... Um, what we own, uh, mm-hmm. what we, yeah. you know, what we yes. possess, uh, but who we are in Christ. Yes. And yun yun eh, that one is protected. And in mm-hmm. fact, um, it becomes even more um, solid as He changes us through situations that happen. Sabi nga, um, may mga sitwasyon na even if you pray to the Lord, Lord, tanggalin mo naman itong sitwasyon na to. Sometimes He mm-hmm. allows for you to go through it yes. because binabago ka niya. Mm-hmm. Ikaw, yung, ikaw yung nagbabago. So, mm-hmm. diba? At um, you become yeah. more ano ah, parang you become more like Him. You become yes. more beautiful. You become more like Jesus in your character. Yun. So, Carlo, ikaw, kamusta naman dyan? <laughs> Nag, ano ka, nawala ka for a while. So we were talking about um, going through disappointments and how um, our our identity is secure in the Lord and it's not dependent on external factors. Yes. And um, yeah, guys, if you want uh, to share your own, um, you know, testimonies or comments, please feel free to do so here. Uh, just uh, write your comment. Uh, kung may mga gusto kayong i-share or if you want to be part of the Breakfast with the King community, let us know because uh, we will all we will be having face-to-face Bible studies like this. Yung hindi lang um, sinashare natin through a chat group but we will also have face-to-face gatherings um, you know, to, in, to encourage one another, um, edify one another. So, um, I, were you able to, ano, um, sige nga, direct, can you flash the screen where um, makikita natin yung application ni Pastor Joriel and um, Sis Kath? Kung if there's anything na, okay, sabi nila, you should recognize the pain and accept the situation. And disappointment is inevitable. Yon, hindi siya maiiwasan. Mm-hmm. So, with that in mind na, okay, 
as you approach tomorrow or even today, Saturday morning, right? Maraming pwedeng mangyari today. It's not that yes. you're you're praying or attracting that bad things will happen. It's just accepting the fact that, you know, we live in a flawed world, um, mm. but we have the Lord in our hearts. The Lord is protecting yeah. us and solid yung identity natin sa Kanya. Pero disappointments can happen talaga. So mm -hmm. accepting that could help us uh, handle it. And sabi nga natin, to learning to fully trust the Lord in times of disappointment, hindi ka bumibitiw gaya ng ginawa ni Job na hindi siya bumibitiw mm -hmm. sa Lord and tuwang-tuwa si Lord sa kanya and lalo pa siyang bines. And yes. um, we, are, we just focus on the Lord. So ano bang mga pwedeng nangyayari sa kanila ngayon, Pastor Jor Joriel and Kath, um, parang may ano ba yung mga possible disappointments nila na pamaaaring bumibitiw sila Ngayon, ano ba yung mga practical uh, life situations ngayon na magbigay tayo um, na baka may makakapag-identify? Oo oh, nga. Actually ako, meron akong natatawa na lang ako na, na experience. Ano, pero nung kasagsaga nun, ano, yung moment talaga na, na parang may part ako na Lord, bakit? Kasi medyo hindi ako ganun, denial ako na mag-pastor uh, sa full-time minister eh. So, support-support lang ako. Gusto ko ituloy ko yung trabaho ko, yung mga personal na agenda ko. Pero, there was a time na talagang, Lord, sige, iti-take over ko na yung full-time ministry as a pastor. Tapos, nagpakasal na rin ako. Kaya kahit parang bagong chapter ito ng buhay ko. Iwan ko na yung aking uh, secular job. Tapos, syempre, bilang you know, bagong uh, husband, dapat medyo prepared din naman kahit pa paano. So, meron akong tinago na, emergency fund just in case na uh, anything, ano? Uh, oo. Oh, oh. And then eventually, gusto ko mas mag-grow sa salita ng Panginoon so I could uh, um, share it na sa church, no? Mapakain ng maayos ng salita ng Panginoon Church. So nag-aral din ako sa Bible School sa US. Now the bottom line, yung aking account, no? Na ginagamit ko paying ng tuition fees and books ko sa Bible School, emergency fund ko na parang maging responsible naman ako na husband kahit magte-take ako ng ministry na hindi naman malaki ang ating uh, kinikita o ang ating income. Eh, nawala pang lahat. No? Even nung bigla kong chinek, zero yung aking bank account. Sabi ko, bakit Lord kung kailan ako nag-step uh, out? Uh, Pamilyado. Yeah. Nawala ang lahat. So, grabe, Panginoon. Pero, pero, um, Tinuro lang sa akin ng Panginoon, alam mo kapag susunod ka sa akin, dapat wala kang back up. Mm -hmm. Hindi ko naman sinasabi yeah. masama mga ito. Pero special kasi, I mean, personal kasi yung dealing ng Panginoon sa buhay natin. So during that time, ganun yung dealing ng Panginoon sa akin. So natuto ako na mas maging masaya sa Panginoon. And uh, literally, I experienced what, what uh, Job uh, was experienced. Pinaki had experience, no? Kasi pinakita ng Panginoon na hindi limitado ang provision ng Panginoon. Literally, double yeah. na blessing. Bibilas na yung finances namin na sinimulan. Although small scale lang, pero nandun yeah. yung, yes. ano yung blessing no? ng, Panginoon. ng Panginoon. Basta nag-trust tayo sa Panginoon. So, pwedeng naubusan ka ng pera. As in zero. <laughs> <laughs> so, pwedeng mangyari yun, um, Pastor Joriel. But then, the Lord will replenish kasi siya naman ng ano eh nagbibigay ng resources. Siya yung may capacity to yung RE, yung resource. Diba? Restock. Restock. He will double, he will triple as long as you're yeah. That's yes. a story. Amen. He will multiply. Yeah, and he even um, gave you a beautiful wife in Kathy. Lahat na talaga ng ano, lahat ng Kathy, ganyan. Yeah. <laughs> Kampi, kampi tayo sis. So yeah. Actually, ano, pagka tinignan mo yung storya ni Job, no? pag putol yung storya, kunyari nandun ka sa storya na he was faithful, tapos said all of this, si, si, si Satan pumunta, yung devil pumunta dun sa heaven, tapos kinausap si God, in-intrig-intrig siya, and then all these calamities came into his life, ano? wherein uh, he lost everything, no? uh, even to the point that he got sick, no? he might even lose his life. No? Pag putol yung storya, you'd, you'd say, bakit ganun? It doesn't make sense. Ang bait-bait ni Job, bakit yun ito? Pero pag tinuloy mo yung storya hanggang dulo, na bless siya ni Lord, tinripol pa, quadrimol pa yung blessings from, uh, yeah. as to compare to the beginning, it all makes sense now. 
And I think ganito, ganito siguro ta ganito siguro mga buhay natin. Sometimes kasi syempre we're short-sighted, no? We can mm-hmm. only see yes. what's in front of us. Lalo na pag nandiyan yung calamity, no? Mm-hmm. Um, mawawalan ka ng loob eh. Kasi, di ba, hindi mo na alam kung anong gagawin eh during that time. Pero if we can only see through God's eyes, no? The whole picture. We will be encouraged because maganda pala yung promises niya for us. He will he will protect us and he will multiply us. Amen. And um on that note, um so to our viewers, if you uh, viewers and listeners on uh, Apple and Spotify podcast, if you have prayer requests, please let us know. Just message us and we'll gladly pray for you. So we've come to the P part of soap. So our our guests, our, our pastor Joriel and Sis Kathy, um, they shared with us their scripture and then they shared with us their observation and your application nice based on that. And then now we are going to end our show with a prayer led by them. So please do the honors, Pastor Joriel and Kathy. Okay, so let's pray. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for uh, this wonderful day that you've given us. Lord, thank you for your word that we can uh, read and ponder upon, for the wisdom that helps us understand and apply it in our lives. Thank you for the lessons that we have learned today uh, from the life of Job. And Lord, it is our prayer that um, you help us, Lord, to walk faithfully and be humble enough to see ourselves that we cannot do anything away apart from you, Lord. And uh, when troubles and disappointments come along our way, Lord, help us to trust in you and believe that you are in control of everything. You can see our past, present, and future of our lives and There is nothing hidden from you. Lord Jesus, help us to still worship you even um, in the midst of uh, unmet expectations, dear God. Lord, we are also praying for Sister Kathy and Brother Carlo. Lord, thank you for um, their lives. Thank you for their ministries. May you always give them the wisdom they need as they serve you, uh, especially through this ministry, breakfast with the king. Lord, uh, give them the strength every day and protect them Amen. from any harm and uh, any works of the enemy. Lord, we are also praying for everyone who's with us today. May they experience the joy and peace that is only found in trusting in the Lord Jesus. Amen. We glorify and lift up your name. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. So any final words for our viewers and listeners, Pastor Jarel and Kat, before we let you go? So um, in dealing with disappointment, I think first we need to learn to accept unexpected events in our lives. Second is to keep in mind that we are children of God. Maging humble tayo, pero wag nating la- ma- liliitin, kumbaga, wag tayo manliliit sa ating sarili. Mga, um, kasi anak tayo ng Panginoon. Yes, and, Lastly, yung trust in the Lord mm-hmm. and be hopeful because God can turn our disappointment to His appointment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, Amen. Thank you so much for joining us, Pastor Joriel and Sis Kath. And we hope to um, you. see you thank there you so in Lobo. Uh, yes! yes. <laughs> Tara, yes. Po tayo. <laughs> yes. Maraming salamat. Thank you for joining us today. God bless you. God bless. Yes. Have, a Have a good weekend. <laughs> bye bye. Thank you. So, um, Carlo. All right. So it seems that your your video is. I don't know kung ganon din yung sa reception no ng sa iba. Um, may delay ng kanting signal. But anyway, Carlo, I learned so much today. Um, from uh, Pastor Jor- Joriel and Kath. Um, yung Yeah, yung pinakamalalim talaga na takeaway ko din sa kanila is to know who you are and to know who your God is. Yun. So you're able to quickly grasp 
the appointment in every disappointment. Yan. At saka, ano, no? Uh, in whatever situation you find yourself in, how even how terrible it is, uh, you know, just cling to the Lord. He will get yeah. you through. Tapos, in the very end, He will even bless you more. Yes. And uh, actually, humility uh, will get us through life. Humility and accepting the fact that we cannot afford our own lives. Hindi natin pwedeng bayaran yung buhay natin. Hindi natin kaya. Kasi kinailangan na mamatay si Lord, si Jesus para sa atin. We cannot save ourselves. Um, saka, and, um, pala, no? uh, maganda rin siguro to na awareness sa atin ano? at saka to our viewers. No? Uh, mm-hmm. Diba dito sa story ni Job, pinag-usapan natin yung calamity, etc. No? Pero we should remember kung kaninong kagagawan to. No? Kagagawan to ng devil. Pumunta siya mm-hmm. dun sa heaven. Ini-intrigue niya si Lord. Mm-hmm. So whenever uh, disappointments come in our lives or in hardship, no? uh, you know, sometimes it's just a part of life. No? But sometimes it is the devil trying to steal our joy from us and we should be guarded, no? Uh, all the more that we should uh, yeah. uh, cling to the Lord, no? Kasi we should not allow Him any any foothold or any uh, anything, no? He doesn't deserve anything. So, yun ang ano natin. Yeah, so, um, so guys, if this episode spoke to you, please message us. We'd like to um, help you learn more about the Lord. Um, we'd like to invite you also to be part of Breakfast with the King community. And um, again, as Carlo has said, we will have face-to-face um, gatherings as well. Uh, very exciting yung lineup natin for next year. And um, we can also refer you to a church that can help you grow more in your faith. Um, do message us. And, um, yeah, message, message us. us. If you want to join Breakfast with the King community, super. Yes, so we'd like to thank the following sponsors for making this show possible. Um, ito yon ang ating mga pasasalamatan. We direct will flash um, their logos on screen. Thank you to MFH Church from Detroit, Michigan, Pastor Butch Alvarez. Salamat po. Yasin's um, Beauty Line. Thank you. Lingap, JL Maxi Builders. My Daily Collagen, Good Feast, PH. Thank you also to Sis May Rose Coronel and Miss Evelyn Javier. And of course, an anonymous donor. God bless all of you. Maraming salamat sa inyo. And um, keep watching Breakfast with the King every Saturday morning from 9 to 10 a.m. And of course, you can also um, listen to us on Apple Podcast as well as um, Spotify. Maraming salamat and God bless all of Maraming you. Salamat. This is Breakfast with the King on the new channel. See you next week. Bye bye.